Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Joe Parker, Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate, the Santa Barbara Group, bringing you along for another broker tour drive along. I'm a real estate professional here in Santa Barbara and today we're gonna to be driving through Montecito. I'm gonna take you in to see a few homes and drive you through the community and we're gonna have a great time. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, you just happen to come across this video, please subscribe and give it a like so that you can stay in touch with everything we're doing. And right now I'm about to cut into the road that takes us to the Montecito. And right to my right is the Montecito Club's golf course. If I continued on this private drive, I would be pulling into the parking lot, but instead I am gonna go to the left here and see this new listing on Summit. Let's see what it's like coming through these gates. Beautiful flowers, love that. Okay. It looks like they've got an impressive garden. Roses are over the top. Wow, I'm glad I got to drive you through this because this is very, very incredible. Okay, I guess I should probably, I think I'm gonna go out on the street so I don't block this, because this driveway, this little roundabout is kinda narrow and it's a one-way deal, so you got to experience the whole drive through All right, this first one is located at 1077 Summit Road in Montecito. This is a four bedroom, five bathroom. And we have a price of 8,995,000. And we are right above the sort of uh, Santa Barbara corner of the lower village. So great walkability up here. We're really in the um, striking distance on foot to the lower village of Montecito. Lots of restaurants and cool stuff there. So let's go see what this one looks like. Okay, a little reminder of the street view on this one. There's the golf course over there. We'd see a couple mountaintops through the, the trees if they were a little bit clear, a little bit of clouds on the mountains today, but really impressed by this beautiful garden. I just wanna take this in. Congratulations to the owner on this one. Look at this. English gardens with the maze of uh, box edges. Wow, definitely get the award for best flowers in a house I've seen. Let's take that in. All right, let's see what's inside's looking like. All right, formal entries, cozy. And then you got a. Uh, This living room here has a nice vault to the ceiling and a good amount of light. And you can see over there's the uh, dining room. Crazy yard. But uh, since people are over there, I'm gonna take us back over on this side of the house first. This is a uh, guest suite, it looks like. Probably not the primary, but I love the outdoor access from the bedroom. Always a nice bonus, I think. And then let's check out this bathroom it has. I like the height of the countertop there. Nice shower. And it looks like big closet. Closet's got an exterior entrance. That's interesting. So that's comfortable. Your guests will be happy with that. Now this one over here. This one looks like it might be a little bit more of a primary. 
It's got a good vault in the ceiling, though. Again. Walk-in closet. Bigger walk-in closet, and then the primary bath here. And you normally get Dual sinks, water closet. All right, back over to the other side. The dining room, off the living room here. Formal, nice. I like the paneling, upscales it nicely. Good crown molding as well. Access to the bar. And this looks like a den, office kind of zone. Another work zone right over here. More exterior ingress, egresses on both sides of this room. And it has its own bathroom. Nice stand-up shower there. Okay. Let's go find the kitchen. There it is. So you do have a good skylight in here. Adds a little extra light. Looks like the kitchen has nice paneled appliances and a pantry here. And it has a family room off of it here. Garage over here. Driveway to the garage. And then it looks like there's something waiting for us up here. Look at that, it has its own entrance. There must be like eight doors to get outside in this place. Okay, so this is a little living room. It looks like for a little apartment up here. Or an office. But could easily become a little guest apartment Nice. All right, now the outside backyard has this nice little dining patio. Wow, too bad we don't have a uh, smell-o-vision yet. There's some nice smelling flowers out here even. Super sweet. More patio space over here. Looks like we got a little guest cottage. Great specimens. This is another little grassy area. Oak trees and whatnot out here. So you got some decks, you got some grass, you got gardens, and you have a garden cottage over here. This is a nice little guest house. Fully independent, very private. With its own little backyard. Cute little kitchenette. Charming bathroom.
Got the AC going in here as well with the mini split there. This little deck. Oh, wrap around, very cool. And then this creekside setting just doesn't stop. And it looks like a little koi pond down there. Go check that out. Looks like they gotta protect it from the raccoons. But nice little chill zone, little meditation zone. All right, that was pretty sweet. I gotta say, some of the best gardens I've seen in a property, amazingly well cared for. Those flowers were beautiful. I felt like the house was amazing. Seemed a little bit chopped up um, as far as the floor plan. Not that kind of great open floor plan, but very well done. Um, kind of classic. I don't know. I think that this one is going to be, if you're, if you're a member of the Montecito Club, ideal. Because like you could walk from that place to the club if you're a member and go hang out. You can walk down to the village. In some of our past videos, we've taken you under that pedestrian tunnel where you could go underneath the freeway and make your way to the beach. So literally, you could go from that place and be down at Butterfly Beach in about a 15-minute walk, less than a mile. So very convenient um, in that regard. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. We're going to head up the hill here into the foothills up to East Mountain Road next and uh, take a look at this house. It just got a price reduction. I think we're looking at a similar price point. That's the one we just saw around the $9 million price point. So as we make our way across Montecito to Hot Springs Road, we are right in front of Casa de Rinda, one of the premier retirement communities to get into. Very expensive, very nice. Now, some of you may have noticed that the new real estate laws and rules have kicked in and uh, the last month now we've been operating in this new world of real estate where working with buyers requires a certain level of contract before you start showing them properties and uh, no longer are we able to pay a buyer's broker using the multiple listing service. So it's kind of complex, happy to explain it to you. But in a nutshell, basically, we can no longer pay buyer's agents through the multiple listing service the way we used to do business. And so in order for a broker like myself to show property to a buyer, I have to explain what I'm gonna do to, for them as their buyer's broker, and we have to come to an agreement on the fee that I'll get to be their representative. Now, most of the time, we're going to be able to negotiate that fee to be covered in the form of a concession from the seller to the buyer to pay for their closing costs. One of the closing costs is going to be their broker fee. So this is how we're going to separate the sellers no longer paying the buyer's broker. It is going to cause a little bit of a mess because the way we've been doing business for the last 50 years has relied on the multiple listing service as a guarantee of payment when you work with a buyer. So for the longest time, the barrier of entry to work with an agent was pretty minimal for a buyer. You could pretty much call any agent, let them know that you're looking and, and they'll go to work for you almost right away. Now that still may happen, but they're not allowed to show you a house until you've signed an agreement with them, a, a buyer broker agreement. So there's going to be a little bit of change there. Um, so far, it's working out great. I really think it's going to be a bonus for the real estate industry um, to the degree that it's probably going to thin out the real estate agents in the business. And it is also going to free up professionals like myself to focus on the clients who are really valuing the service that I'm able to offer them and uh, won't be spread too thin across people who are kind of looky looing or kind of serious or you know working with lots of different agents um, that's fine there's plenty of room in the marketplace for people to work like that if that's the way they want but if they want a dedicated professional like myself to go to work for them to present them with off-market opportunities to 
strategize with them to be a sounding wall to go through all the different options that come up when they're contemplating a property um, or even at the very beginning stages of trying to understand what it is they want and where they should land. All of these services that a buyer's agent will provide can only be provided when you are under contract with that agent. So this is a great way for agents to focus on who they should work with and it's a great way for buyers out there to find an agent who is going to provide them with the level of service that they're looking for. Not every buyer wants a full service agent helping them and there's going to be options for them. But when you want a dedicated professional who knows this town like the back of their hand and is able to be responsive to your needs, then that's when you really want to find someone like myself to help you and get you dialed in. And so that's why I make these videos to help introduce myself to you, to a new audience, a new um, client base. You can browse this channel. I have many, many videos, drive alongs like this, along with other videos explaining the different neighborhoods and the nuances so that you can study this community and get to know me and determine if I seem like the type of professional, professional that you want to work with. And if you do, I invite you to introduce yourself to me. I'm here to um, help you learn more about this community and help you get clear on what your real estate goals are and what you want to achieve and then help you achieve those goals. So that's what's going on in my world. I'm really enjoying it. We just had a new um, approved offer today from uh, one of you that have found me on the, on the channel here, came out to visit and we found a really awesome property for this family to enjoy. So excited to get started on that one. And just like that person did, I invite you to reach out to me, introduce yourself to me. Let's talk more about your needs, your dreams, your desires, and I will point you in the right direction if I'm not the right fit. And I'm able to also get you connected with real estate professionals like myself and other communities around the country. So if you want help getting lined up, I can do that as well. Okay, so we made it to this Mountain Drive property. This driveway right here looks like a possible shared driveway that's going to service a couple of homes. I didn't quite pay attention right when we pulled into it, but that's typically what we got here. And yes, that's what is happening here. We are going to be looking for 1514. So a little ways up. We're going to have great views on this one. I believe we're looking at a contemporary here. So less traditional than what we just saw. And it should have killer views because we are continuing to climb higher and higher. Passing many gated driveways that are going to lead to many individualized custom estates hard to believe that so much concentration of beautiful real estate exists right here it does looks like we're going by some uh, construction possibly this video on the whole time because you can see what it's like to come to this property I mean once you get up here it's amazing that ingress and egress is real deal though you know you gotta you gotta get up here uh, we did just that oh that's a neighbor okay here I thought I was gonna go in that direction but that's the neighbor so this one is actually not gated. Okay. Okay, real quick, what do we got here? 1514 East Mountain Drive, three bedroom, four and a half bath. Major price reduction. Ocean views, 8,995. So the exact same price of the last one we just saw. There's our scene of the driveway we came up. We got a two car garage right over there behind these cars. And then this carport, our uh, 
Not really a car park, but parking area. Doesn't have a cover. Right, you got this little zone here. All right, immediately enter glass wall to the right with the pool and the spa and the ocean view. So that's a dramatic way to come home. And then Nice little half bath there. Yeah, so this is the results of that big drive we took to get up here. I mean, this is spectacular. All of Montecito, look how green Montecito is. Stunning. I like the green wall. We're right at the base of the mountains. You can see them right up there. Dining room's got a really nice waterfall feature out here off these big sliders. And then the kitchen's tucked away right over here in the corner, fully equipped, beautifully appointed. Not the great room kitchen, you know, but we do have access to the dining room and it's not far from all the action. You got pocket doors there, so you can close it off if you wanna make the kitchen a little bit more private, depending on what you're cooking. But I love this wall of appliances. And that's really cool. And then this is back to that powder room right there that we saw earlier by the front door. But while we're over here, let's take a look at the laundry. Storage. Garage, finished, nice. Computers. Oh. Well, interesting place for a barbecue. So the bedroom situation over here looks like we get to this kind of wing that has a living room and a bedroom. So this is kind of a little retreat space, I would say. Kind of like a primary retreat maybe with its own living space. Beautiful bed here with the Great view off this balcony here. And look at this. You guys remember this game when you were a kid? Is that tetherball? Is that the most ridiculous tetherball court you've ever seen? I never really liked that game. Okay. just keeps growing. Okay, look at this bathroom. Let's take that in for a sec. This pocket door here disappears so that your bathroom kind of becomes a convertible. Looks like a closet here. Water closet. And the walk-in closet built-ins, nice. Another bath, kind of the his, her bath setup over here. I like it. Built-ins, lots of storage, extra closet space, another walk-in closet here. Nice. I 
people are freaking out about this house, I guess. This is a nice one too, another guest suite. Proper guest suite here. The yard. So we had that tetherball court down below. Got the turf out here. Got a couple little pathways that meander. Let's see what happens downstairs. I did see that staircase that I never explored off the primary, I think. Okay, another guest suite. That's the staircase. I like it, it's got its own entrance. Bathroom, shower, lots of closet space, ocean view, downstairs, private patio, and an office. Okay, I think that's it. All right, we made it off the hill. We're back down on East Valley Road. We got one more property to see here today. It is actually on this street we're on now, East Valley Road. So a little further down as we make our way south towards where Summerlin would be, towards Sheffield Drive. That's where we're heading. But what'd you think of that last, last one? That modern vibe was pretty sweet. It had... Uh, Amazing pool. I really liked the retreat area with all that space. Although I don't know how practical that is, but it's kind of cool how you have like your own little private living room, bedroom, dual bathrooms, plus a downstairs guest suite and office. That's almost like that place was like a uh, uh, a dream for a couple that has. Um, one of the spouses that snores or something because you've got your, your main bedroom and then if someone's snoring, you just go downstairs to your second bedroom. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was interesting. That floor plan was a little different, but I think people could make it work. The word on the street is that seller is incredibly motivated. So if that house spoke to you and you're thinking you want to learn more about it, let me know because I think someone may be surprised at what kind of price you could get negotiating on that one. So, uh, I think it was at uh, 8995 you know, maybe you get it for 8 million even. One way to find out, but let's see here. We're going to get into one more today. This is going to be a, a newer remodel. I was exploring the pictures, a little bit of a lower price point, but very, very nice Spanish style. So, we have a good little mix today. We've got the, the traditional... English cottage. We have the the modern, contemporary, minimal ocean views. The minimal meant the architectural style. The ocean views were nothing but extraordinary. Those were not minimal. And uh, the pool. I did like that little pool. And every room just had incredible views just about. And I liked how even downstairs had amazing views. Sometimes in homes, only the upstairs have a good view. So that was sweet. All right. We are going to be getting close here to this next one. I think we're looking at something at about five and a half million. East Valley Road can be a little bit tricky because of its kind of foothill highway nature. Not everyone wants to live on it, feeling like it might be a little busy, which it is, but there's definitely busier and it will get you into this, this market maybe at a little bit less money. This one's gonna be deep. I mean, we're, we're gonna be going 
past Sheffield here and continuing to be fully on the backside of Summerlin. All right, my friends, we found the driveway we're looking for. This is deep. And gate in. Oh. into the back way oh no okay we're going by the tennis court on the left here I'll show you and All right, there's that driveway we came up. Kind of went by this house here. And it goes up into parking and off-street parking. And it goes by this court, probably soon to become a pickleball court. But right now it's a tennis court. Probably put like two pickleball courts on that or three. If you guys really want to invite your friends over and start hosting some tourneys. Uh, you do have a, um, a home that's positioned way back off the street, which will be exciting for many who are concerned about being on East Valley. This one is set back far enough to where you're not gonna feel the impact of it. So that's pretty nice. And you're gonna get some mountain views up there. You're a little deep. I don't think we're gonna be in the Montecito Elementary School attendance areas, but you're still gonna be in a phenomenal spot in California if you lived in this house. So, We've got a nice little entry here. Go across this breezeway right into this dining area that has a good amount of light. You can have great doors bringing in the outdoor indoor space there. It's like everything's been freshly updated in here. window seat there. And then over here, we're going to make our way into the kitchen, everyone's favorite room. This one's kind of Feeling a little bit uh, smaller. Another little breakfast dining area here. And then a den, looks like on this side here. Across from the den, we're gonna have one of our suites. It looks like this is a guest suite with an exterior entrance. We got ourselves a garage over here. Looks good. There's that kitchen. There's a half bath across from the stairs that go upstairs here. This is probably where we're going to find our primary. There's a laundry there. It's one of our rooms. Okay, all right, this is gonna be a Jack and Jill style pass through, sort of, but in the corner bathroom. So this is shared between these two bedrooms. And then it looks like we've found the primary retreat with a nice little Office area, closet. Now 
nice wide bedroom, good amount of space, good windows, lots of light. Some interesting views, nothing spectacular, like a gigantic mountain view or an ocean view or anything like that. But it's pretty, pretty nice setting view is what I'd call it. Everything is fairly clean. We're gonna go see the outside. And it's so weird though, it's like, it takes too much, but then it's not so bad. <laughs> Okay, big backyard, kind of a blank slate. You know, you got it fenced. A couple of uh, fruit trees recently been planted, so they're working on their orchard. They got some raised planter beds, so you could definitely get busy if you want to go urban farm here. Oh, what do you think of this one? It's got some good qualities, a good size. The finishes are a little less than Montecito, but that could be changed. All right, everybody, 2775 East Valley Road, four bedroom, four bath, 5,250,000, one acre, 3,600 square foot home, four bed, four bath. What'd you think? Kind of deep out here. I think the potential's there. The, um, I was expecting it to be a bit more done a bit more upscale it felt a little bit less than upscale inside there the materials and whatnot uh if i'm gonna be honest but i think it had great potential to become something but interesting to see how that one plays out i really liked the uh the second one with the big views up there on the top of the hill i didn't like driving up there but once you're there phenomenal great spot so Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Like I mentioned at the beginning, if you did get through it and you like it, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and it'll keep you posted on as I put new videos on this channel. They'll notify you and you can watch them. About once a week, you can expect to have these drive-alongs with me and explore the channel for a bunch of videos about different neighborhoods, what it's like to live here, how to retire here, all kinds of resources. And if those are getting you interested and you want to take a deeper dive, reach out to me directly. You can call or text. I'll have my cell phone in the description below. Along with different ways of connecting with us, I can get you on customized listing alerts, tell you about the pocket listing inventory. That's off market stuff in this area. And also get you plugged into our newsletter and many other opportunities so introduce yourself to us if this is moving you to take action thanks for watching everyone peace